Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Today's topic is about an important procedure, bladder irrigation, for nurses. You can also see some of the important questions that are repeatedly asked in the competitive exams at the end of the slide. Before entering into the topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Okay, let's get into the topic. Bladder irrigation or bladder lavage or bladder washout or bladder flush is also called as cystoc lysis. Bladder irrigation is a technique used to flush out the catheter and bladder by introducing a catheter and normal saline. When is a bladder irrigation needed? The indications include urinary tract infections, post genito urinary surgery such as transurethral resection of bladder tumor, transurethral resection of prostate, prostatic hematuria, and urinary retention. Now, what does a bladder irrigation do? The purposes include preventing blood clot formation, to treat acute urinary retention, to relieve bladder spasm, and to release blockage in the urinary catheter. Looking into the types of bladder irrigation, there are two types, open and close. Open irrigation is also called manual or intermittent bladder irrigation. Closed bladder irrigation is also called continuous bladder irrigation. Manual bladder irrigation involves flushing a urinary catheter manually with a catheter tip syringe and normal saline. The procedure involves Pour normal saline or sterile irrigation solution into a bowl. Draw the solution, usually 30 to 50 ml, into a catheter tip syringe. Disconnect the drainage bag of urinary tubing from drainage port. Clean the drainage port with antiseptic swab and insert the catheter tip syringe. Inject the solution slowly and aspirate it immediately. Remove the syringe and connect the drainage port with the drainage bag. Manual bladder irrigation can be utilized for a long-term catheter patient to prevent recurrent catheter blockage. Continuous bladder irrigation provides a continuous infusion of sterile solution into the urinary bladder using a three-way irrigation catheter to remove loose tissues, clots, and mucus shreds from the bladder. The three ports of the catheter includes balloon port, urine drainage port, and irrigation port. Now the procedure includes explaining the procedure to the patient, wash hands and arrange the articles. Hang the irrigation solution in the IV pole 24 to 36 inches above the bladder. Insert tip of irrigation tubing into the port of the irrigation solution bag using aseptic technique. Prime the irrigation tubing and close the roller clamp. Clean the port and attach the irrigation tubing to the irrigation port of the catheter. Open the roller clamp and regulate the drip as ordered. Replace the articles once the procedure is completed. Flow rate of the irrigation solution depends on the color of the drainage. If the drainage is bright red in color, the infusing irrigation solution should be at a higher rate until the drainage appears pink or clear. During the irrigation, as is for hypovolemic shock, monitoring vital signs, skin color and moisture, anxiety level, if so, inform the doctor. If the drainage is pink or tea colored, then the rate of the solution is at a moderate level. If the drainage is clear, then the infusion should be at a moderate rate. Some of the examples of irrigation includes bladder irrigation with normal saline at 100 ml per hour for 24 hours, bladder irrigation with normal saline at 50 ml per hour for 24 hours, bladder irrigation and infection. If there is presence of infection, it is indicated by fever, cloudy urine, foul smelling urine, abdominal pain, and changing mental status. 
Signs and symptoms of a blocked catheter may include no urine flow from the catheter, suprapubic distension and lower abdominal pain, urine leaking around the catheter, vasovagal symptoms may develop that is sweating, tachycardia and hypotension if the blockage is unrelieved. Now, nurses' responsibilities include monitoring vital signs, check for kinks, loops, or clots in the catheter or drainage back tubing, palpate the bladder and note any patient pain or discomfort, check the flow rate and drainage to determine if output is adequate, monitor intake output chart and mention the appearance of the fluid. Now, how will you calculate the urine output? If patient is on bladder irrigation, volume out minus volume in gives the exact urine volume. Remember always that the output is always greater than the amount of irrigation solution being infused. Now, looking into some of the frequently asked questions, vasovagal symptoms. What do you mean by cystoclysis? If bright red drainage occurs during CBI for a period of time, what is your responsibility? Patient on bladder irrigation had a fever with severe abdominal pain. Moreover, drainage in the bag appears cloudy, which indicates. How will you calculate the urine output if patient is on bladder irrigation? Here we go with the bladder irrigation for nurses. If you find this video useful, Please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.